So I'm going to take you through the various tests now to assess for peripheral and central sensitization. Um, and a lot of these tests will be familiar to you from doing like a neurological examination. We're just looking at it here from um, assessing for uh, signs of sensitization. In your clinical practice, you can choose the different measures that you would test that would be relevant for your patient. So you don't have to do everything. Um, for this situation, I'm going to um, go from least provocative to most provocative, I guess. So we're going to start with a, a brush to test brush stroke gallodynia. I've got a von Frey filament here um, that I'm going to use to test mechanical hyperalgesia. If you don't have von Frey filaments, you can use pinpricks. Um, I've also got a pressure algometer to test pressure pain sensitivity, again a measure of mechanical hyperalgesia. And I've got a, an ice block, um, or you can just use an, an ice cube to test cold hyperalgesia. I'll use the von Frey filament also to test for temporal summation when we repeat the measure. So, um, we're going to pretend that Martin has tennis elbow, and in this case, he's got a right tennis elbow. So I'm going to test the um, left side as his remote or comparison side. And if you've got somebody who's got a unilateral problem, then that makes a lot of sense because you've got a direct comparison. If it throws up that he's got some signs of sensitivity on the opposite side, then I may want to test a remote site. Um, and a remote site for the elbows would be somewhere like tibialis anterior. And for things like pressure pain thresholds, there's quite a lot of normative data available in the literature that you can reference to so you can compare that um, for places like tibialis anterior. Um, so, just so that I'm kind of more testing over the, the correct spot, um, I want to find the maximal pain site. So, Martin, um, you showed me earlier where you were sore, so just tell me where you're most just sensitive. There. Okay, and I'm just going to put a little dot on that. Okay. Okay, and just do that on the opposite side. Just so I'm comparing over the same area. Okay, So let's start with um, assessing for allodynia. I can just take my brush. Um, Martin, I just want you to tell me what you feel when I rub this along your skin. Just a smooth brush stroke. Okay. So because that's not sensitive over the area of pain, I don't need to test it on the opposite side because um, there's no presence of allodynia. So I can leave that to the side. The next um, pressure test I'm going to do is for mechanical hyperalgesia. So Martin, um, what I'm going to do is um, prod you with this filament, okay? Yep. Just gentle pressure. Um, I want you to tell me if you feel any pain with this mm. or not. Mm, a fraction. Okay. Yeah. If you were to uh, give it a number out of ten, two over or three. Two or three. Mm -hmm. If you were to pick one. Three. Three, okay, let me compare that to the unaffected side. Okay. Yeah, don't feel, just pressure. Just pressure just on pressure. that, okay. Yeah. So there's a difference between the two. Um, just note that as I'm applying this, I'm just applying it to when the filament starts to bend. And in that way, you can kind of standardize the amount of pressure that you're using. And that's one reason why Von Frey filaments are, are better than um, just doing pinprick. Um, so for the next test, I'm going to do the same thing again. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to ask you for a pain rating after the first mm -hmm. test. I'm going to repeat it 10 times. Mm -hmm. I'm going to ask you for a pain rating at the end. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah. Um, okay, so. Yeah, three again. Three again, okay. And what was the pain on the last one? It was about the same, I would about say. About the same, so yeah. that's a three. Yeah. So we can say then that there's no presence of temporal summation. Okay, let's move that aside. Um, so for this one, this is a, a, a test of your pressure sensitivity. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just going to apply pressure yeah. onto those couple of spots. Um, and I'm just going to come down... Okay, just be, I just want to check that we're actually testing this over muscle. If, um, if he was most tender, closer um, to, to 
the, the bone, I would just move distally to that so I'm testing in soft tissue. It's just not pleasant to test pressure, uh, threat, pain thresholds over bony areas. Um, okay, so sorry, <laughs> I was in the middle of describing that. Um, I'm just going to apply some pressure. I'm going to do that in a steady way. Yep. I want you to say yes when you feel that pressure changing from a sensation of just pressure to pressure pain. Okay. So just the onset of, of pressure pain, not how much you can tolerate. Is that okay? Yeah. Um, I'm going to test the other side first. Okay. Can I move your hand just a little and mm -hmm. just bring you to there? Um, I d and that's just so I can go at 90 degrees. Sometimes it's helpful as well just to stabilize the, the pressure algometer. And then I apply a steady pressure. About now. Okay. And so this measures, I measures in different ways, but I've got uh, 30 newtons. I wouldn't tell my patient that. Okay, let's go again. Okay, same again. Say mm -hmm. yes when you feel the pressure changing to pressure pain. About now. And that's 19.6. So between this and the von Frey filament assessment, I can tell that there's localized mechanical hyperalgesia. It doesn't seem to be more um, widespread. The other side isn't affected. Um, so less likely to be a dominance of these central mechanisms. The last one I'm going to test is um, just your cold sensitivity. Um, so I'm <laughs> just going to apply this to your skin. Mm -hmm. I'm going to hold it for 10 seconds mm -hmm. um, and I'll just ask you if you feel what you feel as I hold mm -hmm. it. Is that okay? Yeah. Um, so again, I'm just going to hold that over there. Yeah. How's that? Okay, just cold. Just cold? Yeah. Okay. Quite cold. Yeah. <laughs> Is that painful at all? No. And how is that? Just cold. Just cold. Yeah. Okay. So no cold hyperalgesia. Again, you might question whether I should test the opposite side or not. Because it's not sensitive over the affected elbow, um, then it's unlikely to be affected elsewhere. So of course you could if you wanted to, but it's less indicated. Um, an ice cube is probably better just so that you can test more locally than, than using something as large as this. So those are the main ways that we're going to um, assess for peripheral and central sensitization.